Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingliak with ale and open arms. Do you have the gift of foresight, Seer? Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemingway Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Yari? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you.
Ming Ayal. Is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I've well in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Hemminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my faith then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. I still do. You pushed me, Heminger. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, A4. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up?
Aldrin! Festive. Too festive. And too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? <sighs> Peace, Trigvi. I will do what I can to calm things. They are going to kill him! Come out, you dung-eating rat! What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I will speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Come out, you dung-eating rat! Get that stain out here now! The people are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here on your own, before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please! There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. Oh my god! You've got the key! Use it! Get that stain out here now! You'll pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough! Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger! I swear! I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God! So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course! I anointed him in the name of the Lord! Shut your mouths, both of you. Your antics have outlasted their welcome. Now go. Cast about this lamp, my friend. That Saxon did what? How dare he insult our culture? He's a dead man if I ask him. Help! Fire! Save! What is this boda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame! Help! Fire! Save my food, I burn! Help! Fire! Save my food, I burn! If this is your Voda, I managed to save it from the licking flames. You dared Surtur's heat, yes! A most potent drink, distilled from grain by the Rush of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. A bit of drink in... A bit of drink in the belly, never heard.
Aid me. Be my eyes. Stay back, coward beast! See what you see! Loki's whole place waste here! You mean Hemminger's famous fighting roosters? Dragons with mighty claws! Save me from their wrath! Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. Uh, when you soap her up, steer clear of roosters. Some order seems to have been restored. Now to trick me, to let him know. I've calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trukvi. With time. Yes, it will. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good. But it needs a touch of grandeur. Something personal for your father. A setio, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkerthorpe? She lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The odds are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. Need your eyes, my friend. This must be the cave Billy mentioned. Who would live here?
exile must value his solitude, living in a hole such as this. Beard. You are a difficult man to find. Uh. Heminga Jarl is dead. I was told you are a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heminga Jarl. The stones. Heminga Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Steady. How could it be at such a time? Heminga Jarl's heart never wavered. Yes, Heminga's heart was steady, as it was large. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? Wisdom, always an inspiration. The web of Weirs, then. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. 
But a man was killed. Heming a Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place. That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. The old thing is tomorrow, and the Jarl must be chosen. I should speak with Sunimar about this. Did you consult the Volvo? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others, I must answer myself. Do you think there's a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Trigvi in the high seat. Eivor, Trigvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl, old as I am? This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The frames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. 
Strictly. Each man wears one of Hemingas boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire for your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Nottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire, a man the people can trust. Most love Billy, and he loves them, but he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn, but does he wish to? And trick me. Sturdy and wise and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor! Put a stop to this fool's death wish! This is no small decision, Trukvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? Was your vow to serve Heminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy in life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. Eivor! Mm. Suniva! Pigs were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase. Ah, oh, stick! He should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with pigs. The nobles are too drunk to join this fight. It would be a slaughter on both sides. You know best, Trengur. Just take care, will you? His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stick was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Trengur. He always had me to watch his back. His children and again now. If this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kiss as his shadow. There are things we do for family, Suniva. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of the Raven clan. We know, Drengur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Ville saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. I will head back to Hemthorpe and make sure our ravens stand vigilant. I will head oh, back to Hemthorpe and make sure our ravens stand vigilant. Oh, 
Gone. It is done. I've seen roosters fight with your spirit. Oddly enough, so have I. That sound. It's thunder. Footsteps. We need to fall back. Follow me. Quickly. when we were children getting into trouble and getting away. Save your honey words for when we get out of here alive, our stick. <sighs> Definitely not good. My sword's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavenga? I do. Kjertve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools, foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. When my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But 
I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable? No matter how glorious it may be. Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Lily. And what about Trigvi? And me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak the truth. I understand. Troll faced our stick. <laughs> a chicken draugr. Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda, too. A warder infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Willy. This has been. good. fun, even. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. I have, fondly. And often enough that it sometimes seemed you never left. Maybe you never did. I... I want you, Eivor. Your warmth. Your touch. Billy, no. That will not happen, I'm sorry. Get some rest, huh? Are you going? Uh, with so much on my mind, I haven't slept a wink. The funeral, the fanes... I should get back. I understand. I'll see you there. Billy, gone already. To prepare for the funeral, I imagine. So many Danes, so many Norse. This will be the send off Heminger deserves. All the funeral preparations are in order. Be patient, Heminger Yaw. We are about to send you. Eivor, my father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts, all but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. shield bearing the sign of the web of weird woven into this shield as you wove your spirit into our lives may the skulls sing of you as the gods embrace you feast my friend in the halls of the free and brave stand at my side
Speak from your heart, Emina-san. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity. His spirit. In you I see his life. And his love of drink. God, did he love drink! <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. Give him a fine farewell. Sunila, ride to Hemthorpe and prepare the longhouse for the old thing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. What's wrong with you? Have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drink so well and so deeply as Clan Hemingerson. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The old thing will begin shortly. You look... uneasy. Burdened by grief. Drowning in need. And paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Hjaldur. You stand side by side, really. And one of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side. Because he trusted your vision. 
So what do you see? Drunk as you are, I see before me a man full of passion, vigor, and the love for his people. I see a Jarl. Your burden will get easier to bear. Take your father's seat and make it your own. I will. Good. Now let them know, Arstic. People of Hemthorpe, of Ulkethorpe, of Snottingham. Today I pledge myself. As my father was, I shall be your Jarl. <laughs> Heminger was a hero, not for who he was, but for the people he led. With Trigvi by my side, with all of you, we will have glory. You have already learned that people prefer shorter speeches to long ones, Vili Jarl. It will take time to wear that title with comfort. My father never swore a formal oath with your clan. There was no need, for you are family. Let it be known, the Hemingers and Clan Raven are true sworn friends from this day forward. Do you accept? Aye. Well? Be fair, be just, and call upon us often. Our stick. I'm sure I will. to see you, Eivor. I bring fair tidings, Renry. Heminger Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He is their Jarl now, and he has pledged to aid us in times of need. 